Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So last night when I played Battlefield, there came a pop-up from DICE asking me if I wanted to do a survey to help improve the game and yeah, why not? Let's do it. So as for language, obviously English. I could also choose German, but since none of you can read German, probably we go with English. So how likely are you to recommend Battlefield 2042 to a friend or family member? Honestly, since I like my friends and I like my family members, this is definitely a zero. I know that in my Battlefield review I said you could buy the game for like 5 bucks, but just because you can buy the game and can have fun with the game doesn't really mean I go around and say oh people need to definitely play this game since that's not the case. Why did I score Battlefield 2042 this way? So why did you score Battlefield 2042 this way? I typed no working mouse input, shit maps, fuck gun balance, zero content, performance is bad. Yeah I think that's basically it. If they fix the maps they actually make it so that mouse input on controllers would work normally. They would balance the guns, they would add actual actual content to the game and not leave us with like one map for 19 weeks and they would improve the performance like it is in older Battlefield games, the game would be a whole different story. No, where am I from? Germany. I am 22. Yeah, I'm male, what a surprise, and I play on PC. So what have I played? Battlefield 4, 1, 5? It's surprising that Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2, 2 are older Battlefield titles. When did you first start playing Battlefield 2042? That's a good question because I played season 1 a bit, I played season 3 a bit, and then I probably started playing during season 4, but I guess that's the answer I'm going with. Approximately how many hours have you spent playing Battlefield? I think Steam says I have like 350 and I think my Battlefield tracker says I have actual playtime like 300 so I go with 300. At least that's the hours I spent actually playing the game and not sitting in menus. Yeah but let's go with some more in-depth questions. How likely are you to continue playing Battlefield 2042 in 30 days? The thing is if I were just a normal person I probably would say definitely would not play but since I need background footage and content definitely now nah, let's just answer it from like a normal consumer's perspective and not somebody that tries to do YouTube so we go with definitely would not play the game. Oh how satisfied or dissatisfied are you with the following features in Battlefield 2042? Variety of weapons or guns. They are lacking and especially with the balance you only see like 10 weapons at most and we have like only 60. The variety is very dissatisfied. Destruction. Bad. It's like the worst Battlefield game when it comes to destruction. God play. Non-existent. 28 player matches. Please remove them. 64 player matches. I mean it's Battlefield. Size of the maps. I'm somewhat dissatisfied since most of the maps are still too big and lack like cover but we had like the season 5 map and no redacted are perfectly fine even really good. Natural disasters. Remove the matchmaking quality. I'm literally sitting in queue for like 2 to 3 minutes sometimes. When I get into a match it's mostly AI. Sometimes the servers are not filling back up like matchmaking quality is so bad in this game. Matchmaking time yeah same. Specialists. I like them, especially now that they are in class, but overall they are super unbalanced, so yeah. Menus and the user interface. It got better, but I still think it looks kinda ugly when I'm honest here. Progression system. What progression? We only have the battle pass. I like the tier 1 skins you can get, but it's basically nothing. Variety of vehicles. I'm not a vehicle player, but I think they are okay. Maps overall. Dissatified. Modern world setting. Yes. Please keep it. I don't want to go back to World War and I don't want to go like super far into the future. The graphics, they are bad. The game runs bad, the game looks bad. Even Battlefield 5 from 2018 looks better on all low than this, than this game does on ultra graphics. Plus menu. I mean it's a cool idea but it's usually just used to carry more ammo so. Class system. Yes. Balancing of weapons. No. Yeah, I think this makes sense. How satisfied or dissatisfied are you with each of the following maps? Reclaimed. Oh. You know the maps suck when I don't have an image for most of the maps in my mind currently. Reclaimed. I think that's the season 5 map. I think it's okay. Breakaway is the glacier map. Map fucking sucks. Beard is also okay. Our glass sucks. The newer should be the map that trends like the desert and like the green space. I think the map sucks. Stranded is really nice. Exposure is also nice. Kaleidoscope fucking sucks. Orbital. Yeah. Redacted is the perfect map. Discarded is K. Okay. Flashpoint is also okay. And Manifest also sucks. I think that's it. Yes. Or could I change something? Uh, Reclaimed is good. Spearhead is good. Stranded. Yeah, that's basically all the season maps are good. Yeah, Flashpoint 
Legs a bit too much cover to put into somewhat satisfied. Oh, portal, portal is bad, but that's not because portal sucks, but because of the games we have there. Conquest small, yes, it's battlefield. Breaks too small, yes, it's battlefield. The maps suck, but it's over battlefield. Portal custom experience, oh yeah, by other players. Oh, then I need to reverse this. Playing official experience, but honestly, nobody plays fucking Portal. Yes, Rush is a Portal experience, but this should be a base game experience, the same as TDM, so still the same. Breakthrough, Solo and Corp, I'm not playing it. Team Deathmatch. Yeah, Team Deathmatch sucks, the maps are way too big, and it often feels like the Team Deathmatch area is literally just thrown onto the map and not really put any thought into it. Conquest, 128 players, it sucks. Rush, I mean Rush, it's just that, it's Rush. But since the maps suck for Rush, it's not satisfying to play and it's also not this satisfying. I, I think in some areas the attackers can literally explode one of the two objectives before the defenders even get there, so it's completely unbalanced. Conquest Solo Corp, I'm not playing that. How did you hear know about news and content updates for season 6 from YouTube? And I saw the season 6 trailer. What would motivate you to keep playing Battlefield? A friend pass that would allow you to invite a friend to play the game with you for free? No. Having more free skins? Yes. Engagement limit time events? No, your events suck. Updates and patches that improve the quality of the game. Yes. New maps. Yes. New weapons. Yeah, new mods. I don't care. Yeah, I think this would motivate me. What is most exciting about theme events in 2042 for you personally? Guys, the themed event offers exclusive paid event cosmetics I can buy in the store. Ah uh, yes, I'm very hyped for paid co cosmetics in a game I already paid 60 bucks for that doesn't work half of the time. Literally free cosmetics are the only thing I care about. New faction, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. How satisfied are you overall with the Battlefield 2042 Season 6 Battle Pass? Dissatisfied. Most of the skins look ugly. The Pike skin is the only thing that looks kinda cool, but the Tier 1 skin probably looks a bit better. And if I didn't get enough Battlefield coins for free by playing the other seasons, I wouldn't even have bought it. What is included in each of the following options to unlock premium content? Okay, so premium battle pass, you get everything up to tier 100. Fast track pass should be the thing for 2200 coins where you get 20 tier skips extra. Battle pass ultimate pack should be where you pay 20 real dollars and you get the fast track pack, the normal battle pass and you get an exclusive skin you can only get there. So I know a lot. What way to unlock? Yeah, premium battle pass because I had the coins lying around. Where did you get information about the options you have for paid battle pass? I literally launched the game and you tell me, even now, every time I launch the game, you tell me, hey, do you want to buy an extra battle pass even though I'm level 100 already? How would you describe the value for money in the Battlefield 2042 season 6 premium battle pass as compared to its price? Very poor value, most of the skins just suck. How would you describe the value for money of the Battlefield fast track battle pass? It's even worse. It's even worse. Battle Pass Ultimate Pack. I think this season you get like an angel skin for like 20 bucks and the skin isn't even looking good. Like, of course, very poor value. I think the amount of Battlefield coins for free is okay. I think it's like three seasons and you can buy one Battle Pass. So I'm somewhat, I'm somewhat satisfied. Cosmetic sucks. Gadgets really depend on what is in there. But since gadgets on weapons are literally the only reason to like play through the battle pass, I would say it's like basics. Uh, but I would say weapons, it's a bit too little since like three weapons per season is, I think, too little. They should at least do five. How satisfied are you with the following reward including a battle pass? Ability to keep persistent servers for seven days. I don't give a shit. Player card backgrounds. I don't care. Skins. Yes. Amount of benefit coins. Yes. That's what I want. I mean, the skins are not really good, honestly. The weapon charms are fucking ass and the XP boosters also ass. What other reasons for which why did you not buy a season 6 video pass? It costs too much. It's not fucking appealing. Can Yes. I mean, even if I had the coins, I would probably not buy it. It's not good value for the money. Those rewards are not varied enough. Bro.
I would like TI to buy a Battle Pass Ultimate Pack. Definitely would not buy it. Oh, have you made any premium real money for currency in-game purchases? No, I never spent time to get in-game currency. How satisfied are the satisfied I with the in-game store cosmetics? I mean, the skins look cool, but they don't look cool for the money they want. So I would say somewhat Nah. The lower I score, the better the skins get in the future, so I think that's a good point. I would like EI to buy a cosmetic bundle from the 2042 in-game store in the current or in the upcoming season. So I bought the Luna New Year event because I like the BBX skin, but I only bought it because I had 1350 battle pass coins from the battle pass. And since I get enough free battle pass points with the next season pass, so that I then have a thousand again to buy it again, that's the only reason I bought it. If I didn't have enough coins, I wouldn't have purchased anything so I think I go with this since I'm not gonna spend real money to get more currency to buy any of the skins even if I like some of them. From the below what reasons prevented you from buying cosmetics? Yeah some of them don't look or most of them don't look really good I think like there's one Falk skin where she has like the skull mask that looks cool. Yeah items were too expensive I don't know I'm not paying 10 bucks for like one operator skin. Oh yeah they were not differentiating enough I mean it's just a basic skin called like with like I think the battle pass the 100 always has like a glow to it or weapon glows and stuff so yeah i think those are good reasons so statement a i see myself as a gamer gaming is just something i do for fun yeah i'm a gamer i play video games when i have free time i make time to play video games yeah i play when i have the time like i'm not skipping plans to play video games it's just if i have the time i play if i don't i don't i like showing off my accomplishments games yes of course if i do good yeah i mean why would i play video games if i don't like to show off what i can do as long as i can accomplish my goals i don't pay much attention to other players in game get a lot of satisfaction from mapping other players in game no most of my teammates are useless why would i care about them i prefer video games with fantasy or sci-fi themes i prefer video games with realistic themes no puzzles and games can feel boring yes i prefer video games that have a story i can immerse myself and i prefer video games that let me create my own world i'm leaning more to a story if the story is good like create your own story games i think are kind of boring i tend to play games with a story i tend to play games for the action yes the action i prefer games that challenge my mind i prefer to play games that offer a big reward i mean i would go i would prefer play i prefer to play games that challenge my mind since i like it if i do something good because i use my brain and not to just play and get like oh you played for 10 minutes here yeah, you get this and this reward so i go with this games let me live a different life than i really have playing games let me improve my real life skills i mean of course games let me live a different life than i really have i mean when i play for the horizon i can race super fast cars i can't do this in real life but playing games also improve my real life skills in terms of knowledge and stuff like reaction speed awareness so it's like both but i would go to somewhat more of this since i'm not booting up a game to say oh i want to improve here and there it's more like hey, i want to race fast cars so i boot up a racing games i want to shoot people so i put up a shooter if i don't win then i don't have fun i can have fun without winning yeah i don't really care if i win my games as long as i had a good round so i can have fun without winning is more important i mostly play games to compete against others yes i want games that let me express my skills yes it's important to me to create my own character and or story in game it's important to me to feel an emotional connection to the game story i don't really care about both of these options but yeah i take my personal character over feeling emotional connection i'm more excited about making new friends in game i'm more excited about being the best yeah having fun in games means finding creative ways to play it's having fun in games means performing well performing well if you go like 1 and 20 you are not having fun even if you play the game creatively you need to either have fun when you perform well or you perform well and you also find creative ways but it's not like you find creative ways and suddenly you have fun if you still get shit on i prefer games that focus on single now i'm a multiplayer type of guy select the option closest to the other statement select the option closest to this statement okay so they, so they want to test if i'm not a bot yeah and with this we are done with the survey felt like it was more of a survey they asked me how much money i want to spend on the game than actually to improve the game but i mean it's ea so what did i expect imagine they would care about their ip and not only about how much money they can make but yeah that's it for the survey i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video